show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine, doctor shit, cargo hold full of it. Maybe Bye. even some of those uh, anti, uh, whatever the fuck's. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. You know, get away from the city. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guy's got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes oh, So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... Yeah, yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Good to see you. Where? No, I'm not vouching for that. Okay. Yeah, good. Yep, that's nice. Here you go. Now that's an upgrade. All right. Uh, you would come back soon, huh? Howdy. How's it going? <laughs> Got some ears here, okay. Bye.
Hold on, I know him. Open up. Hey. Manny, I'm still not happy with you. Okay, man. All right, check back later. What do you need? See, it's the lady. What's going on? St. John, I've got a job for you. Help. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you want to know more. Hey, how you doing? Jazzy. Hey, been seeing you around more. Take a closer look. Cope, I'm heading to that drifter camp along the highway. What else can you tell me? Not much. They followed one of our supply runs. Got a little too close. I sent a man to check him out. He never came back. You sent anyone to find him? Yeah. A man named Deacon St. John. Cope out. This is it. What do we got? There you are. Oh yeah? You don't know that? Huh? Supply runs. Where are you getting this shit for your camp? Tell me! Copeland's his name? How many people live there in the camp? How many? Sent me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on the supply run. I didn't know what to do. Hey, shut up. Can you run? 
What? Yeah? Yeah? Well, then run. Go. Thank you. I'll tell Coppola you saved my life. St. John, you there? Yes, yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. St. John out. <laughs> Cope, I found your man. Is he alive? Barely. He's heading back to you on foot. You might want to send someone. I'll do that. Thank you, St. John. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but not your goddamn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? <laughs> Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it, ride in the open road, now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. St. 
St. John, this is Copeland. Manny says he's got a part for your bike. Not sure I have enough camp credits. When you do, swing by. He'll fix you up. Copeland out. Deacon St. John, this is Mark Copeland. I just wanted to apologize for that business with your bike. After the things you've been doing to help out the camp. Well, I guess I had you figured all wrong. Again, I'm sorry. Let him in. I live in this little town called Sisters outside of Farewell. Teague, how's it going, man? Let me get Camper's tea. life, hey, Manny? Good choice, man, good choice. Cool, need anything else? This should last you for a while. Oh yeah, that's a good piece. No, I mean ever. I'll wrap that up for you. We should have more stuff later. Later, man. Good to see you, Deke. Hey, Damon. How's the gun trade going? What? Not enough credits? Stop by any time. Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Jazzy, how's it going? That's all I got. Deke, good to see you. Manny. Good choice, man. Good choice. All right. Hey, you'll stop by whenever you need something, all right? Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, Zanny. Bike's a real guzzler. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah? Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck, what's up? You remember Alkai said that rippers were spotted. Heading our way? Yeah, I remember. He said he didn't try to stop them. Well, we've seen him scouting the hot springs. A couple of men followed him back to their camp, in the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn rivers. 
Don't worry about it. I'll take care of him. I got a score to settle. A score? What are you talking about? Yeah, ne never mind. Hey, Deacon. What do you mean? Hey, Alka. What are you looking for? Good choice. Okay, sure. Let me know if you need anything else. Deacon! Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean?
Tucker, you there? You didn't gotta worry about that ripper camp no more. I took care of him, every last one of them. Nice job. Sounds like you did have a score to settle. Alkai said there's rumors going around that the rippers are after the biker boys. Let's just say they fucked with the wrong guy. You can out. I can use these. <sighs> if you will can. Need something? She's looking for some stuff. Yeah, that'll last you. Yeah, your bike's looking good now.
Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning. Got it. Deacon out. something in the list. I'll take that. Thank you. 